Hello everyone, this is the second campsite uh, on Old Pasico Road. As you can see, Little Sand Point is the entrance. You come on down and the ranger station is right there where you register. This facility has a public beach and like all three campsites on Pasico Lake, they all have their own boat launches, which we'll see in a second. To give you an idea, some of the sites that are near the entrance, this is site number five. You can see it has its own private lake access. And many of the sites here at Little Sand allow RVs slash travel trailers up to 30 feet in length. There's a picture coming down to the boat launch. And this is site number four. You can see the beautiful lake access of the site. And here you go. So this is, if you brought your Flying Scott, this is where you can launch. Day use is only $8. You can stay here all day. There is the public beach. Some of the campers are allowed to leave their boats here. And there's the boat launch. And there is beautiful Pasico Lake. We're looking eastbound across the lake. This is southbound all the way down. And this would be northbound. The lake is approximately six miles long and about a mile wide. And again, here is the public launch. It's plenty deep here at the end of this temporary dock. It's about four feet in depth. So that's it for Little Sand, Little Sand Point Campground. Okay, this is another campsite here at Little Sand Point. This is site 1A, it's one of our favorite sites. As you can see, you have privacy to your north, and the nearest sites, sites are back here. This is the loop. 1A, Site 1, 2, and 3, a lot of very popular with RVers. But the best part about this is look at the wonderful lake access you have here. All for only $20 a night. And you can get these sites fairly easily if you book at a time. Walking down, you can see you have your own little private beach. Some ducks there chilling out. And you can see the waters. Give you a shot of the water here. Nice sand. No rocks at all. As I showed before, that's the public beach. There's 75 campsites here. But these sites, 1A through Site 10, all approximately near the ranger station, um, all with uh, lake, pro some, well, most have private lake access. So highly recommended, $20. You can stay here a week for $140. The place has public showers, bathrooms, which I'll show you in a bit. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful site. Okay, um, you're seeing a shot of Old Pasico Road heading southbound. 
and there's the entrance. I see my sailboat there. I just stopped real quick. Uh, that's northbound on Old Paseco Road. And here is the brand new modern shower and bathhouse facility that all the campsites share here at Paseco Lake, all the state campsites. You can see there's four, or I, I believe there's six. I think there's two on the other side. Um, I'll pause the video real quick and show you how modern and nice these are. Okay, so here is a look at a typical shower site. You can see plenty of room to change. Nice and modern and clean. Like I said, there's four to six of these here. Never rarely crowded. Large restroom here. Then on the other side, more shower facilities. So actually there's eight showers facilities total. Then down in the end is a large men's room. All in this beautiful wooded setting. It's only about a quarter mile up the road from the entrance to Little Sand Point. And as I said, all three of the state campsites share this facility. And you can see there's plenty of parking here. Okay, this is the last campsite as you head north on Old Pasico Road, Poplar Point. This is a smaller one. I believe there's only about 20 to 25 sites here. But this is where I'm actually going to throw the boat in today. Again, $8 day use. And as you can see, I'm here on a Thursday afternoon. And there is only one car down in the public beach area, which I'll show you in a sec. Very private and very quiet, very beautiful here. Again, right on the shores of the lake. More sights here. Again, you can hear a pin drop here other than the just a little gentle wind blowing. These campsites usually fill up uh, week on weekends. But you can see these are pretty nice campsites and just empty. The ranger just told me there's only one camper here. Okay, I'm down at the waterfront at Poplar Point Campground. See, I pulled in there, turn around, and as you can see, there is not a soul here. Here it is, July 28th, a Thursday, around 1 o'clock. And you basically have this beautiful facility all to yourself. There's the, that's the public beach. And like I showed you with little sand, here's your boat launch. Now this beach over here, there's no swimming, so this would be a temporary place to tie up. And it's a little deeper here, it drops off. Kind of get you to see that. I mean, you can see the beach is, the water is beautiful. There's no rocks or anything for a temporary tie up, which I'll do with my sailboat. <clears throat> but right out the end of that dock, it's probably about, six to seven feet but just out from there it drops off to 25 30 feet but again we're down this is the last campsite as you go south as you go northbound and there's a panoramic view of the water and there's the head of the lake